Tonight, 11 Alive has learned there is now a trial date for a man accused of abusing hundreds of dogs. The case has dragged on now for more than four years, frustrating animal advocates. But as 11 Alive investigator Rebecca Lindstrom discovered, recent Craig Gray is just one of several dog breeders waiting for trial. He was a, he was a mess is really the best way to put it. Ron Gully remembers the first time he saw this photo. Fur matted, covered in urine and poop that had fallen from above by the dogs trapped in their own cages. He just shook. He'd just stand there and shake. He was afraid to move. He was afraid of us. He was afraid of, like, everything. Wadi is just one of 700 dogs rescued from recent Craig Gray, a then-licensed South Georgia dog breeder that now faces charges for animal cruelty. But that was 2019. He has yet to stand trial. <laughs> the same goes for Angela Powell, another breeder arrested that same year. She faces 60 counts of animal cruelty across two counties after investigators found filthy German shepherds and dog bones. It doesn't make sense to me. Advocates have long felt the enforcement of Georgia's laws lacked teeth. 11 Alive Investigates found court records for 18 large dog seizures in the past five years. Only half were charged with abuse and neglect. Four cases were closed with plea deals that gave long probation sentences, but no jail time. And none have gone to trial. Jessica Rock, the state prosecutor for animal crimes, says COVID played a role. We are having to triage cases in a certain way that we didn't have to before. Gray is actually behind bars, but only because he violated the conditions of his bond. His trial date has been postponed several times. Last year, lawmakers created a state prosecutor focused on animal welfare. I think it speaks volumes of how far we've come in the state. Rock says first, she's focused on training, police, animal control, and prosecutors. In the short term, more enforcement will mean more busts, creating another concern already being raised in emails to us and on social media. Everybody's full. The shelters are full. The rescue groups are full. The rescues fosters are full. So we are living in a kind of a state of crisis. Gully has never visited the property in person where Wadi was rescued. The pictures are bad enough. Wadi still has skin problems. He never moves his tail. And I think it's partly because it was so matted to his body, he just never used it. His paws are stretched from years standing on wire. It may be why he still doesn't care much for grass. He just likes to be, I would say he likes to be around us because he knows it's safe. But after safety, animal advocates say should come accountability. Rock wants that too. And I think that we're starting to slowly send that message. I'm just not going to stop. We're done. Prosecutors would not disclose the details of their plea offer to Gray, but if he refuses, we're told his trial is set for March 20th. Both Gray and Powell have pleaded not guilty.